God bless you, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come and share a very important dream that the Lord gave me on the 26th of October. And I've been kind of sitting on this dream. I've been praying on it and meditating on what God was actually saying. And I really feel released to share it today. And y'all, just sit through this whole message because this is powerful. This is important. And the Lord is speaking to his people. He's speaking to his church right now. So I pray that whoever is listening to this, that you will have an ear to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to the churches. In a dream, y'all, I was recording a video showing people that it was a life-size picture. It was like a life-size picture of Jesus on my wall. And in the picture, Jesus was holding a sickle. He was holding a sickle in his hand. If you don't know what a sickle is, I'll, I'll insert it in, in this video. So this is a sickle, right? This, a sickle is used to gather and reap harvest, right? They use a sickle when it comes to like wheat, right? To gather the wheat, they, they would use it to get and gather all the wheat into the barn, right? And so Jesus was holding a sickle on my wall and in the dream y'all I was so excited about it and I'm just like I was rejoicing I was excited I was happy I was so happy I was so full of joy and so full of the spirit that I ended up going outside and I started preaching the gospel and I'm like I had so much fire had so much passion I had such a strong urgency to preach, even though it was like nobody outside, but I still was preaching. I still was lifting up my voice as if there were somebody outside, but I was just preaching. It kind of reminded me of John the Baptist when the Bible says that he was out in the wilderness preaching, right? He was preaching, prepare you the way of the Lord. And in the dream, y'all, I remember saying, God is not willing that anyone would perish, but that all will come to repentance. That's what I was saying. And after that, the dream ended and I woke up from the dream and I was just like, wow, I knew immediately. I knew it was a dream from the Lord. I knew that God was speaking, that he was communicating something. And as I began to pray, the Holy Spirit led me to this scripture in Revelation. Revelation chapter 14, verses 14 through 20. And it says, and I looked and behold, a white cloud and upon the cloud, one said like unto the son of man, having on his head a golden crown and in his head a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is come for thee to reap for the harvest of the earth is ripe. This is what the angel said to the person that was sitting on the cloud with the sickle, which is Jesus. Jesus was sitting on the cloud with the sickle. And the angel was telling him, the time has come for thee to reap. The harvest of the earth is ripe. Verse 16, he says, and he said, he that sat on the cloud, thrust in his sickle on the earth and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also having a sharp sickle and another angel came out of the altar, which had power over fire and cried with a loud voice to him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. So we see another angel speaking to another angel telling him to thrust in thy sickle because the earth is ripe, but it's not talking about the same kind of harvest. It's speaking about the fruit, the grapes, which represents the unbelievers, right? The first harvest represents the people of God. The first harvest represents the wheat of the earth, right? We are called, we are supposed to be the wheat. We're not supposed to be the tares. We're supposed to be the wheat. So he's speaking about the wheat, right? But then there's also a harvest that talks about the grapes, right? And the grapes represent the, 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 the wrath of God that's getting ready to come upon the people that's getting ready to be crushed. Verse 19, it says the angel thrust in his sickle in the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. And the, and the wine press was trodden without city and blood came out of the wine press. 
even unto the horses' bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred fort horns. So, y'all, we see clearly here that there is two harvests, right? We see Jesus with a sickle in his hand. He's getting ready to thrust in his sickle into the earth to gather what is ripe, gather what is his, right? Which is the wheat. And we also see a second harvest that the angel is getting ready to thrust in his sickle. But this is going to be like the, the great wine press of the wrath of God. This is where those grapes are getting ready to be crushed, right? And, 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 and it's going to come out like blood is going to be there's going to be coming out like blood, right? And so I believe, I believe y'all that the Lord is getting ready to thrust in his sickle because the earth is ripe. Everyone who is supposed to be saved, they're ready to be saved. Everyone who's, who's ready to get it to heaven, they're ready to be in heaven. That's why the Bible says, he that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Because whatever state that you are in when the Lord comes back, that is the state that you shall remain. And so we are in an hour where just like in my dream, it's time for us to rise up and begin to preach the gospel like never before. It's time for us to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Hallelujah. Because even he even led me to Matthew chapter three, verses one. Through three, and it's speaking about John the Baptist. It says, In those days, John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Hallelujah. So, y'all, we see right now that it is time. For us to go forth. The other day, the Lord literally just gave me a message and he told me that th this is the hour of commissioning. This is the hour of commissioning. He is getting ready to send out his sent ones. He's getting ready to send out his chosen ones, his called ones, the ones that have been just like John the Baptist. You have been in the wilderness. You have been in that dry place. You have been in the hiding in the caves. You've been in seasons of isolation, just sitting before the feet of God. But now the Lord is getting ready to exalt you from that low place that you have, you have been in. God is getting ready to, to, to thrust you forth into the earth like arrows. God is really getting ready to send his people out like never before because the earth is ripe. And those who are ready to receive the gospel, they are ready. Those who are ready to make it into heaven, they are ready. Those who are make, those who are ready to enter into hell, they are ready. So y'all, this is so important. We need to understand the hour that we are living in. We need to understand how important it is. We need to understand what we should be doing. We should be seeking the face of God like never before. We should be fasting and praying and drawing near to God like never before. We should be obedient in doing what the Lord has called us to do and being on our post, being in position, being in a, a prostrate type of mindset, a prostrate type of heart. So y'all, I didn't mean for this to be too long, but the Lord is getting ready to thrust in his sickle. The Lord is getting ready to gather the harvest and to reap the earth because it is ripe. He is on his way. The Lord is getting ready to come back very, 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 very soon, y'all. Please repent. If you are not right, if you are not right with the Lord, please repent. Please get your life right with Jesus. Time is very short. We don't know how much time we got. But please repent. Please put your faith in Jesus. Not a man, not a president, not the government, not anyone else. But we need Jesus. The earth is crying out for Jesus. I pray that that blessed you. God bless.